Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with the new Masters, no, not Masters, Challenge Belt Champion Challenge Joe, belt. the Hitman Hearn. Um, obviously I weren't there on the fight, so talk me through it. Um, yeah, good um, first top fight, eight rounds, uh, V Marcus to do. Bit um, touch and go a couple of weeks before the fight, I got a bad chest infection, so you know, I wanted to fight, but was in two minds whether or not it was going to pull me out. But went ahead with a fight. Um, yeah, really started sort of feeling the, the pace, fourth and fifth round. But um, yeah, ended, ended up, you know, battled on, won the fight, went the distance, put him down in the first and the sixth, and won the With first that, file. Two knockdowns for your opponent to then get back up again. Um, what's going through your head? Um, I caught him. Caught him clean in the first round with a, with a straight right down the middle and put him over. And to be fair, I didn't think he was going to get up. But um, yeah, Marcus, tough lad, got up, up, you know, went straight in for the kill. And um, he just covered up and weathered the storm and yeah, su survived. And then again, putting him down in the sixth. I think it was a, it was a body shot, I think, in the sixth. But um, yeah, he's tough. I looked at his record, he's been down a couple of times before, but. He gets up and he carries on. Fights on, yeah. Um, massive learning curve for you. Um, yeah. And it's been documented from word go, you're going to be fast tracked through the ranks. So they're the sort of fights that you're going to need. There's, there's no point in getting in there with people who are, you're going to walk over every oh, single shit. time. So getting all them rounds in is the best experience for you. Yeah. Um, going forward from there, what are we looking at? Sort of early next year? Or? Yeah, I'm going to be out again on the 4th of March, again in Norwich. Um, just spoke to, to Graham, possibly a six rounder, and then, um, and then we'll see how we get on from there. there. Yeah. Obviously, you bring a big following to Norwich every time you fight. Um, yeah. What would it mean to you to then sort of maybe one day put on a show back home, you know, so yeah. they, they don't have to travel all this way? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I sell a, a decent ticket um, and, and bring all my mates and family followers up here, but to have one in my local town or a lot closer would be a lot better. I think I could do a lot better with a ticket, but maybe even double it. Um, going off of sort of what you're doing a little bit, and more on sort of the world boxing scene, Tyson Fury's just now beat Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big to do on what's going on with, with Fury, etc., etc. But um, did you watch the fight? Watch the fight, yeah. What do you make of it? What do really, you make yeah, of Fury? Really, really pleased for him. I like Fury. You know, a lot of people, you know, got things to say about him. He's dissing, you know. I, I think I really like him. I think he's good for for the for British boxing. Yeah. Um, what's wrong with saying what you think? You know. Um, yeah. Watch the fight. He is. He's exciting, isn't he? He's, yeah. His style is just different to anyone else's. Yeah. I think being at the size of he is and how strong he is, that that's what gives Klitschko the problems as well. Because he's never fought someone that, as big as Fury, and he's got very fast hands for the, the size of him as well. Talking of speed, someone who always gets mentioned with speed in the heavyweight division, Anthony Joshua. Fought last night against yeah. Dylan White. Um, definitely his toughest test yet. Uh, do you think that's a fight that could happen in the future, Joshua Fury? Or yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so. Um, I think it might be a bit of a too much of a step at the minute, being you know he's just won a British and Commonwealth, stepping up to world level, but. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see him fight like Chisora or somebody like that next, you know, somebody that has fought at world level. See how he gets on and then possibly in the, in the future that'd be, that'd be a great fight. Um, Fury Joshua. Bringing it back home a little bit, back to Norwich, um, back to sort of where you train. Sam Sexton, heavyweight now, starting to sort of get his way back into back, the division. Back off um, his injury and stuff, yeah. Joshua has documented that he wants to defend that title three times, win it outright. Um, yeah. Sam Sexton could be a possible opponent, um, depending on the occasion and where it is, that could bring big things for everyone in the city. Yeah. Um, like yourself, you're, you're destined for sort of British level. So, would you like to see Sam in there with Joshua? I'd love to see that fight, yeah. Um, finishing this, you, you share the changing rooms with many different professionals of all different levels. When you check, when when you sort of first started out, um, a lot of the bigger name boxers from around the area were out of injury and whatever. Mm. 
to now share the changing room with him, like, what, what does that mean, you know? Like, to be in the same changing room with someone like Sam Sexton, who's fought for the British title, won the Commonwealth title, prize fighter winner. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah, really, getting well, it's just... Is it surreal, you know? Like, yeah, to it think is, yeah. sort of, what, this time last year? You know, you, yeah. One, one minute I'm going to shows and watching him and watching him on TV and things like next minute I'm sharing the dressing room with him and he's wishing me luck for my fight and vice versa and yeah. So yeah, it's um, it's all a step in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know Walsh, Walsh brothers, um, Bill, Nathan, yeah. They're all yeah, all top lads. Yeah, all good lads. They're going to make sort of a statement in the new year along with yourself and um, yeah, hopefully like March will come round and then. Maybe put on a big show back home. See, yeah, see what can lovely. be done in the summer. That'd be lovely, yeah. Brilliant, Joe. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Ben. Cheers. And I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks, mate.